We are back, and it's time now for a nightly Q&A. We call Ask the Doctor, and we're happy to be joined by Dr. Jonathan Dario, a family physician affiliated with Adventist Health. And thanks so much again, Doctor, for being with us here tonight. I want to start yeah. with the latest information coming from Kern Public Health this morning. They said there are 29 new cases of COVID-19 and three deaths, which means there is now 11 deaths in Kern County from COVID-19. Does this suggest at all to you that perhaps we have not hit the peak yet of COVID-19 in Kern? Uh, I mean, that's not necessarily true um, because with uh, even though we, we have deaths that can be people who have been sick for the past couple of weeks, we it's not necessarily meaning that it was a sudden death or um, it would have to do with how long they've been cared for. This could have been a patient that was uh, uh, long term on a uh, in the ICU or having these other issues go on. So we have uh, we don't really have the, the data to say that. Um, you know, we expect that despite everything that there will be. Uh, some deaths still, you know, uh, from the coronavirus. Um, I think from the way the numbers look overall, it seems like we've already kind of hit that peak and we're on that leveling, uh, that uh, flattening of that curve. So we just have to continue just watching it day by day and make sure that we don't have any spikes of cases as we go along. Dr. Governor Newsom has said phase two will begin by Friday, which means some low risk businesses like clothing stores can reopen. However, the governor said businesses must find a new normal going forward. What does that look like in your view? Will we ever get back to normal? You know, I think, it, I mean, I think this like a new normal or um, basically they just have to follow social distancing guidelines, try to make it safer for people who go to the, the retail store, who go um, out to eat and make sure that um, people have that social distancing option so that they're not exposing others to um, potential virus. Um, as we kind of learn more about the coronavirus as time goes, and then we feel that we have the uh, proper tools to protect people um, in the long run, I, I think we will reach that, that, new, that normal that we were at before. Um, but that's just gonna take time. And Dr. Dario, Kern Public Health has said it takes longer to get a negative test result than it does a positive test. Interestingly enough, we've had a lot of viewers reach out and ask if you get a flu vaccine or if you're on any certain medications possibly, is it possible that you could get a false positive of having COVID-19? Um, as far as we know, the you won't get a uh, false positive for the COVID-19 because the testing itself right now, um, specifically the ones that we test to see if someone's uh, sick, um, tests for the, the viral uh, antigen itself, the, the virus itself. Mm -hmm. um, you wouldn't be, you're not testing for antibodies or anything like that, that would give you a false positive. Um, a vaccine doesn't give you a viral um, uh, shedding that would be the positive for the COVID-19. So it's very specific to that, uh, the test is very specific to that. Um, so in general, just, just having a influenza vaccine shouldn't give you a false positive. All right, time for one more quick question here. NBC News doctor uh, did a story about some people with COVID-19 who after several weeks now test negative for the virus, yet one woman has had a fever every day for nearly two months. What do you make of that? She previously had no other health issues. Um, I think, of course, that's a rare occurrence. You know, it would be, it might have to do with her. Um, there would have to be maybe some other workup regarding um, her immune status itself. Um, you know, we're still figuring out the, the long-term complications of the coronavirus. I know, like, especially initially where we found that it does have that suppression on the lymphocytes, the, uh, the white blood cells that actually help you fight viruses. Um, I imagine that, you know, there could be some effects on that, maybe uh, that she's had to herself, um, but that would be, there would be some special testing. She would have to see uh, a specialist to kind of figure that out if it really came from the coronavirus. Or not. 
Well, doctor, we appreciate you answering a lot of these questions on the fly. We don't go over these questions ahead of time, and uh, we appreciate uh, your candor and your insight on all the questions we bring you uh, on a nightly basis. Dr. Jonathan Dario, a family physician with Adventist Health, thanks for your time tonight. Thank you. Oh.